Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face tutorial using all e.l.f. products. I picked up a ton of products at the e.l.f. store the other day. It was kind of funny because I had a full shopping bag and John was like, his eyes were like this. And then when we checked out, it was like $100 which was practically everything for the whole face. And you know, a lot of other makeup brands, their items are in like the 15 to $20 range for each item. So you can get a lot of stuff at e.l.f. It's very affordable. And everything that I'm using today is from e.l.f. I do have a couple exceptions though, okay? So I'm using just my own brushes and eyelashes. So some of this stuff I've used before and I love from e.l.f. Some of it I'm trying out for the first time. So you can kind of see first impressions. Let me know if you guys want to see any more one brand tutorials down below. I have what in wild is on my mind. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna start prepping the skin. This is the illuminating moisturizer. And on the back, this is described as a lotion with illuminating effects for a glowing looking complexion. It's probably a lot. Get it, Turb. Get it, Turb. I was gonna say, it smells like SPF. It's got SPF 15 in it. Oh wow, I am shiny. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, just got like really glowy really quick. All right, next step after the moisturizer is to prime the skin and I picked up the hydrating face primer. Big surprise there. I always lean towards hydrating just because my skin is a little bit drier. So I'm gonna do like one pump of the hydrating primer and I'm gonna just kind of like press this into the skin. It's silky. Next up, I'm gonna do some spot concealing on my face and I picked up this product which is the Maximum Coverage Concealer and it's in like a massive package. This is like the biggest concealer I feel like I've ever seen. So this concealer from Sephora collection is 0.33 ounces and this one's 0.7 ounces. This is like a massive concealer, but the only problem is I already threw the package away. I don't know what color this is. I'm assuming it's light or light medium, but I wanted like a really good full coverage concealer. I love some full coverage concealer. So I'm gonna apply this just spot conceal on any redness and around my under eye. This color, I'm gonna see if I still have the package. So I'll like, I'll, if I have the package I'm in the trash somewhere, I'll put it in the description box or somewhere so you guys can find it. It is a little bit darker than what I would normally do for spot concealing, especially around my eyes. But I feel like I can cover this up with more concealer. <laughs> and I'm used to layering concealers anyway, so. I feel like lately I've really been liking like more medium coverage foundations, but using like full coverage, like really full coverage concealers just in areas that I need it. This concealer actually looks really nice. Like it could be a good no makeup day kind of concealer. The shade is just, it's just a kiss too dark for me, but I feel like it looks good like on my skin just by itself. I'm gonna try a little bit of this concealer in this area right here, just because I need something like a little bit more like with a pink undertone. This is the light complete coverage concealer set. So I'm just gonna take the lightest pink toned one right here and kind of pop it right in here. Just do a little bit of color correcting before I start the shadow. I feel like that did a little bit of color correcting that I needed right in there. Let's do eyeshadow primer. I did ask the girl at e.l.f. I was like, don't lie to me. Which eyeshadow primer do you think is better? So there's the Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer, and then I also got the Pro Eyeshadow Primer. And she said this one has a better finish to it, so I was like, all right. It feels very smooth, very silky, very velvety. Take some of this and pat it on the eyes. And I think I'm gonna be doing like kind of maroony, cranberry kind of look today. I think that's the vibe. I noticed in my last video, a lot of people were feeling like the browns and stuff. We're all in fall mode. It actually felt like fall outside today, which was strange. Dude, I think I like fall outside today. Did I say that? Yeah. I did? All right, so the eyeshadow palette that I picked up is called Mad for Matte. And I just thought it had really pretty, it was kind of like smoky maroon vibes. Like not just a standard warm brown palette, which is why I liked it. I thought it had like some cool grays. I'm just gonna wash the lightest color all over the lid just to set the primer. All right, next I'm gonna be taking this shade. It's kind of a more like rosy crease color, transition color. And I'm gonna be dusting this all over the crease area. John and I may have gotten a little high today from the fumes in our house. They were painting our fireplace. You know what I just realized? What? I didn't get, 
I didn't get any weird little skip line. I've been getting a skip line right here and right here in both my eyes every day. Now I'm gonna be taking the shade right next to it and I'm gonna be dusting that in the crease on top. You know what I like about this palette is it, it kind of gives you like the warm vibes without being like too warm. That doesn't even make sense. All right, I'm still going in with the same color, just kind of buffing and blending. Just going to town. All right, next step is to go in with this shade. This is kind of like a plummy taupe. Plummy taupe color is what I'm gonna call it. This one right here in the palette. And I have these other palettes from e.l.f. that I've had for quite a while that I've been wanting to use. I used one yesterday and they're cool shadows. I'm like just debating, do I wanna mix it with a matte palette? Like, do I make this look two different palettes? I think I'm going to because these eyeshadows are cool. All right, so now for this shade, I'm gonna be focusing it more on the outer corner of the eye, but I'm also bringing it in the crease. This is gonna be kind of like more of a smoky vibe situation. So I'm just swirling. Yeah. Twirling. Nice. <laughs> There's something a little stressful happening right here. I don't know if it's because my eyelid is too dry or it's the primer, but I'm just gonna keep buffing it out here. I'm now gonna take the darkest shade in the palette and add it to the outer corner of the eyes. I used this palette last night with a different eyeshadow base and I didn't have a problem at all. But I have a feeling the primer right now is a little bit harder for me to work with. So I literally, I have to put a darker, darker color on the outside of my eyes. I know I do the same type of technique in most of my looks, but it's just makes my eyes look like eyeballs. I don't know. Don't really have much of a crease going on. So that's why you can always catch me doing that for the most part. Now for the lid color, I really wanna use one of these Aqua Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I have two different ones. This one is Island Breeze, which I don't really think goes with the vibe today. This one's a little bit red. This other one I have is called Cool Mist. And the formula of these shadows are is pretty cool. They kind of remind me like the, they're like spongy, kind of like ColourPop eyeshadows. Yesterday I wore this shade and this is kind of like a, a maroony burgundy brown with like blue reflex in it. It's like a really cool color. And I wore it with bright blue, cobalt blue in the waterline, and I, I like really, really liked it. Anyway, I'm gonna be taking this color from the Cool Mist Aqua Beauty palette. I'm gonna be using my finger to apply it all over the lid. All right, we had to do a little lighting change in the background here, because it was like, I felt, everything felt so warm, and I just felt like it was throwing off my own personal white balance. So I had to switch it out. I feel like it looks a little bit more like daylight now because it is, it's nighttime, so there is no daylight, but I wanted like more of a daylight rather than direct sunlight. All right, so we finished adding the maroon on the lids and this eyeshadow doesn't, it's not like metallic, but you can see it has kind of like a sheen. It almost has kind of a wet look. I'm still debating if I want to use this one. Should I, John? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this color on. I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna add this shade. This is a this one is very similar to this one, but it has blue reflex in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna press it on. And I feel like the burgundy with like the blue, I, I, I like it a lot. Like I love this color palette. I think it's so pretty. I don't unfortunately have a cobalt blue to put in my waterline. All right, now for eyeliner, I'm gonna take the Precision Liquid Eyeliner. This is black, and we're gonna do a little wing today. This is like a little paintbrush, kind of like the NYC Liquid Liner, if you guys are familiar. Oops, poking myself. <laughs> wow, I will say this does not bleed on my lash line at all. So many different eyeliners, if I just touch it to my lash line, it's just like <laughs> I feel like it just spreads around so fast. All right, so the winged liner is done and I really, really liked the applicator on this like a lot. It was very easy for me to use. Last night I used this one, the Intense Ink Eyeliner that had the felt tip. It got a little wiggly for me at the end. So this one I feel like was just, it was nice. It was a good formula. So now I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick and throw on some mascara. 
So I don't have e.l.f. lashes. I'm gonna use some of my own false lashes. Am I like clawing this so hard right now? There's like <laughs> such a weird claw situation happening. The mascara that I picked up, it says new formula, but you know, I caught on real quick that e.l.f. says new on a lot of stuff that's maybe not that new. This is their waterproof lengthening and volumizing mascara. I typically like to use waterproof mascara because it leaves my lashes curled. Oh, this is a cute little applicator. I mean, I don't even need a lot. If I'm gonna put false lashes on, but something to keep them curled so they don't go like straight giraffe lash on me. All right, so now I'm gonna put on some false lashes. These are not elf lashes. I'm cheating a little bit, but uh, in my defense, I really, I don't like elf's false lashes. A lot of like high-end luxury brands that have come out with false lashes have been like really weird. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but like when I see them, I'm just like, what? I'm so confused but I think there's so many good affordable lash brands out there. If you guys know my favorite lash brand, it's Coco Lashes. Their lashes are like between four and $6.99, I think. Pretty affordable and they last a long time. All right, another thing I'm noticing, I told you guys I wore the other e.l.f. eyeliner last night, the blue one, it was like dark blue. Look what it's doing to my lash glue. Cause I wore these lashes last night and I'm putting it on the band and it's staining this blue too. That must've been like really serious because it's got stuck in my lash line. Like my lash line was stained a little bit blue also. These are the Blinking Butte lashes in Samantha. They're really pretty, just fluffy, pretty, pretty lashes. So I'm gonna pop these bad boys on. I'm moving on to complexion next. So I picked up two different foundations. The first one is the Flawless Finish Foundation. And this is the foundation serum. This is the shade Sand and this is light medium. This I think has a little bit more coverage. This might, this is a semi matte finish. So let's try this one out. I felt like this one might be a little bit better for my coloring, but I have a feeling I might like the finish of this one more. So I'm just gonna start applying it to the center of the face. You know, that's where I love starting my application. I feel like this has, I wanna say like a light to medium coverage, cause I'm applying it. I've already done a few pumps. I could still see some of my freckles. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I want to give them just a little bit more coverage. Up in here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's definitely glossy in here. I think it could be because of the lighting that makes it look a little bit glossier, but you know, I'm not mad at a little bit of glossy. I'm telling you all the foundations that have been coming out recently, it's like more and more and more coverage. And I put it on and I'm just like, wow, you can't see any of my face anymore. <laughs> Which is like, sometimes I like it, but sometimes, you know, I'm not ready for that. But I am gonna be filming a video with the Jouer Foundation. So you got a B-Day coming up? We have B-Days coming up, June. Like All right. How old are you gonna be? I am gonna be 29 years old, and so are you, June. I'll be 28 while you're 29. <laughs> for a whole week. Enjoy that week of being 28 without me. I'm gonna be matured, moving on to bigger and better things. Yeah. While you're still just a young 28 kid boy. trying to get his life together. Boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> I like the finish. I like the way it looks. I like that I can still see, you know, like that. Still see a little bit of skin. So now concealer, conceal the under eyes. I'm not gonna be like super hard on this because I am crazy when it comes to under eye concealer. I have all these new products I keep forgetting about. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, did you check your butt? Did you check your butt? So I'm gonna be highlighting with this concealer and this is the shade Fair. All right, let's buff this out. This bad boy. I wonder, I kinda wanna lighten it up. Like I want it to be a little bit lighter, you know? I'm gonna come in with this Complete Cover Concealer Palette and I'm gonna use this shade and I'm gonna kinda just, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I really thought Fair was gonna be a lot lighter than what it was. I still think it looked good. I just need to be a little bit lighter, you know? All right, now I'm gonna take some of that sheer powder, like right under the eyelid. All right, and blush, I used this blush yesterday and I really liked it. This is the e.l.f. Cream Blush in Peach Perfection. It's a pretty good formula. I liked it a lot. So I'm taking, this is a Smashbox brush, a cream cheek, just because I don't know why, I feel like it's easier to use a brush than a beauty blender with a cream blush, which probably sounds weird. Stippling it on is kind of easier. So I'm just like in circular motions. I'm not buffing it. 
I'm just kind of tapping it on. But it kind of reminded me of this one from Estee Lauder, like their Victoria Beckham collection. I like one of the cream blushes in there. This one is a little bit brighter, but I feel like the formula was pretty similar. Isn't this blush pretty? I really like it. They had one other shade there, but I think it was too dark for me. I love peach blush. So I really like that blush. I would wear that any other day for sure. So now I'm gonna take this uh, cream highlighter and I'm gonna be putting it right over here. And you can also mix this in with your foundation, but I felt like that glow lotion I put on like had pretty serious glow factor going on. So, and it's very like lightweight, it's silky. It doesn't feel sticky. A lot of liquid highlighters or cream highlighters, this one's like a good in-between. A lot of them come across as like too metallic and they end up making the skin look kind of weird or they're too thick and they end up taking off the foundation. But this one has a very nice formula. I feel like it just makes the skin look really glossy. Let me just take a little bit more of the powder and just kind of dust down here. Finish setting. I'm gonna put a little bit of powder where I'm gonna put my bronzer just because the foundation feels a little, just a tad tacky. I think it still needs to set a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to brows because I am just sitting here browless. This is the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. This is medium brown, which is like a perfect shade for me. Kind of a neutral, slightly deeper medium brown. What was that? All right, so I'm just gonna brush these up. I do have a brow tutorial. People keep asking me for one, but I, I just did one like really, really recently. I'm gonna be using the Cabrow brush just because it's what I'm comfortable with. When I'm doing my brows, I like to wipe off my brush on like a wet makeup wipe. I feel like it just helps keep it really skinny and just helps with brow strokes. They also have brow pencils, which I did get a brow pencil, but I find it easier for me to use like a gel. I feel like I still don't know how to hold a brow pencil. I don't know why. It's tricky. Thanks, John. All right, so now I'm doing the front of the brow, the little... John just left me. To do what? Cook your ass dinner. Cook us dinner, your family, John. We're a family. Sorry, you guys had to see that. Permission to use my soap. It changes everything, I'm telling you. All right, I'm using a little bit of my soap. This is L'Occitane. And I'm just gonna comb the brow hairs up, make them look a little bit fuller and a little bit fluffier. Oh yeah, that's a before and after right there, huh? Our brows living right now or what? They're living right now. I'm like really loving this color on the brow. It's a little bit darker, but also a little bit more cool toned than the Benefit one that I use. So now I'm ready to bronze up the skin. Do you like, I had to throw a little pump in there. This is the e.l.f. bronzer palette, the shade Bronze Beauty. I've used this many, many times. When I did the E thing, I, I used this bronzer as well. I love this color right here. This is my favorite shade in this palette. So I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and just start bronzing up. This one does have a little bit of a sheen in it, but I think it'll look really nice with this foundation, which I'm still really liking the finish of this foundation a lot. Give me bronzer, paint it into the hair. <laughs> just kind of warm up all the way down. See, I do have like a lot of texture up in like my highlight area right now. So I'm not gonna be doing a strong highlight right there because I don't want to highlight that. So I'm gonna keep it more like, kind of just like a small C range. All right, and then I'm going to take the matte shade, this one right here. I believe it's the lightest shade and I'm gonna contour just the inner part of the nose area. And then I like to blend. If I do like a wash all over the lid, I'm like, let's just try and blend this together right here. For a powder highlighter, I'm gonna be using this one from e.l.f. This is a highlighter that they did in collaboration with That's Heart on YouTube, and she's really, really sweet. So I'm very excited for you. Congrats, Heart, on this collab. This is the shade Coffee and Cream, which I thought was a really cute name. Obviously, I love coffee names. I think I'm gonna mix these two shades. I'm gonna pat it right here. Okay, so next is wrap up this lower lash line one time. So I'm just gonna be taking some of the shades that I mixed onto the top lid. 
bringing it down here. And I would love to throw teal in the waterline if I had one from e.l.f. But I don't. And I got so many different products when I went to the store. Like I have so many different lip colors because I didn't know what look I wanted to do yet. Now I'm taking some of the Smoky Topi. I'm just using all shades from the matte palette. Just kind of mixing the ones that we used. Oh, I crossed a line and everything just went crazy in my contact lenses. There's just hella makeup in there. Let's see what lip color I should do. I have a really, really dark purple which could be pretty. This is cool. Day to night duo. This is called Need It Nudes. There's the two shades in here. I think I'm gonna go with the daytime side. Ooh, creamy. What? I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Very comfortable formula, very lightweight. It does have a nice coverage and I really like the nighttime shade in there too. And I got a lip plumping gloss. This is called Champagne Glam. Sheer gloss helps plump the lips with nourishing hydration. Look at this. It's sparkly lip gloss. Ooh. Mm -hmm. John, I feel like you're being really loud in there right now. This lip gloss is really nice. My first time trying the e.l.f. lip gloss was Alyssa's collaboration that she did with e.l.f. Her nude lip gloss and I loved that formula. I love the color. This one, I'm feeling the plumping. If you guys are familiar with plumping lip glosses like Buxom and other formulas, they have like kind of a tingly feeling to it. I'm feeling the tingle more so up here than the rest. Super glossy. I love the finish of it. It's really pretty. All right, we're just putting some of the same mascara on the lower lashes. Oh, this lip gloss is tingly, you guys, the plumping one. All right, so that is the finished makeup look. This is a full face tutorial using all e.l.f. I really, really like some of these products. I feel like the foundation looks really good. I feel like this lip gloss is bomb. The lip combination was really good. If I had to change some of the products out or products that I would not want to use again, it would probably be the eyeshadow primer. I was having some difficulty blending on it. I feel like I, if I used a different primer, the matte shadows would have worked a lot better for me, but I love like the aqua palettes. I think those are really cool. They have some fun colors in there. What else would I have switched out? Probably the concealers. That is just because I am incredibly picky. I think this looks pretty good, but I just like a little bit more coverage on my under eyes. Oh, the eyeliner. I really like this eyeliner. I feel like, you know, eyeliner's kind of hard for me and I feel like it turned out really, really well. The peach blush, the cream blush. I like the cream blush. I love the brow product. I feel like it looks really good. The color is like A1. I feel like this is a fun video to do because it helped me kind of go outside of my box. You know, when I find products I really like, I tend to stick to them. And sometimes I'm not as good about branching out and trying new stuff. Oh wait, I have to do my mist and set. I'm looking a little damp. Damn, I just sprayed everything on my desk also. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below what some of your favorite e.l.f. products are and if you're gonna be grabbing any of the stuff that I used in this video today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. And it's sheer. Hello. I'm here, focus on me. Thank you. Look at that haircut. Wow. <gasps> Careful now. <Yeah. laughs> Hi, Turbo. Oh, yeah. Sure, real rich. <laughs> it's going good, John. Rolling. You're rolling me right now? John. We're rolling on top. Action's up. <laughs> so. You're beautiful. You don't need any makeup.